In this video, we're going to look at some of the instances of having a multi-story duct system within an attic. If this duct system here is within my attic space, and this bonus room here is also built inside the attic, um, I should be able to connect this ductwork straight from here to these registers. Um, the issue here is that this register out here um, is actually reached by going over and above and into the truss space above my bonus room. So I'm going to need a vertical duct to do and show that. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to create a riser. If this duct system is in my attic space, um, I shouldn't have any serious obstacles to, to, to worry about. Um, but if I did, if I needed to see where this duct would run, where I would need to put uh, my duct work, um, I might have two floors turned on to do this. Um, if I need to see, if I need context for my other floor to tell where the duct will go, I'll leave both of these floors turned on. If I'm able to determine where that riser is going to go, where that vertical duct is going to go without looking at my level 2, then I can turn off my level 2 and start drawing the ductwork, the portion that, that starts on this floor, that starts in the attic above my level 1, um, without looking at my level 2. Now. I'm going to do it the harder way. I'm going to have both of these floors turned on at the same time. Now, the reason that this is the harder way is you have to pay very close attention to what layer is selected. There's a reason why our duct system is color-coded by floor at first, and that reason is simple. You can tell when you've accidentally drawn a duct on a different floor. When the duct shows up like this as a different color, like so, I can tell that I've drawn it on a different floor than the one that it's on. So I'm going to start by drawing my ductwork on my level 1, meaning I have to have the level 1 duct layer or one of the other layers on level 1 highlighted. Now if my vertical duct is going to start just on the floor of the attic and just come straight across before it turns up, I'm going to draw a duct to that point where it turns up. Now once that duct is drawn, there is a fitting at either end, and it's the fitting that I'm interested in. Any fitting can become a vertical duct. I can create a boot that's a vertical duct. I can use an elbow or a fan fitting or a takeoff. Any of these fittings can become a vertical piece of duct. I'm going to use this little end cap fitting here, which should be noted is not a real fitting at all, but until other ducts are connected to it, this is a generic fitting icon that we use to make it look like an end cap. Now if I right click on this little guy here, the very first question on the property sheet for this fitting is, is a riser. Now some would argue the hardest part of actually getting to this step of creating this riser is right clicking on that fitting, which is why it can help to zoom in if you're having trouble. Um, once I've right clicked on the fitting, is a riser, I'm going to answer yes, it's a riser. Now is existing, remember that's about whether or not it's an existing components for the materials list and the vertical duct length. So you get to determine the vertical duct length. We don't know how far this has to go. We don't know uh, whether this system is in the attic or in the crawl space, whether it's going above or uh, in between the joists. Um, so that's for you to determine. You determine how far it goes. Um, but my vertical duct length I'm going to set here for uh, 11 feet. And the starting sheet starts on level one and the ending sheet ends on level two. Um, the order here is not important, um, but the uh, making sure you have the right two floors uh, certainly is. And the duct shape is going to be is going to determine whether you're using rectangular stack or wall stack if you use a stack duct. Uh, but I won't be able to make adjustments to this until the rest of the ductwork is connected, as if this is still a pale color and the ductwork is not sized. But you can see the icon itself has changed. Instead of looking like an end cap, it looks like this symbol here. Um, in an X for supply, it's showing a two different color X here, um, indicating that it's connecting the, the two floors of that color. Now when I go uh, to my level two ducts, in fact, I don't even need level one anymore. I could turn that off. And when I'm looking at level two, you see I can, I can see that riser icon there. And I can use my supply duct starting at the riser and continuing on to this register. Now I'm going to right click on this duct and I'm going to make it flex duct. Right? And I can use the edit points on my flex duct as we showed you before. And if I turn on my level one and look at this you can see the duct starts off at the trunk, comes over, turns up, and then 
continues on on the next floor. Now if I right click on this duct, this component here, right, I could use my trick where I start a new trunk and I could change this duct material here to sheet metal. And because of the different coefficients of friction, right, because this is flex duct and this is sheet metal, um, I now have two different duct sizes. Um, I might turn off automatic sizing so I can run a 10 over to this. Um, but along these same lines now, um, <clears throat> if this return here in my bonus room is um, a low wall grill, right, and this duct system here is in the attic space above my level one, and this is a low wall grill on the floor above it, um, I don't need to create a vertical duct to connect that, do I? Right? This could continue across the attic floor and then connect to this wall. And Rysoft will let you do that. We have more information on this style of duct connection in our uh, basement multi-level duct system, but if I make sure I draw this duct on the correct floor, if this is where my attic is, then this is where I want to draw that duct, on level one, right? Drawing it on level two would, in this instance, mean that I'm coming across the top of that attic space rather than the bottom of it. For more information on that, see our video on changing the attic duct system to a crawl space duct system. This concludes our first video on multi-level duct work. Thank you for your time, and have a good day.